Yeah, no, it's been a great week. Um, obviously, getting the call that I'm in the squad and then to top it off with a goal is is um, no, a really good week for me and um, no, it's an exciting week as well. And that call-up, did it come out of the blue? Were you half expecting it? Uh, i say there's more hoping, I think. I knew I was having a good season, but you, you never know with these things. Um, it's down to the manager and what, what uh, squad he wants to pick, but when he, when he rang me and told me I was in the squad, it was a proud moment and an exciting moment. Tell us about how he kind of said it to you that you were going to be involved in the squad. Uh, so I got a, just a phone call about a week before the, the squad, um, just saying that he was named the squad and that I could be in it, um, just to not book any holidays away for the break. Um, so yeah, and I was excited when he rang me. Um, I would, I'd known John from the 21s, um, and he's a he's a good manager. So um, yeah, no, it was good when he, he rang me and um, just gave me the info about it. Position you play in, there's obviously plenty of competition for place in this Ireland team. Do you think you might get a couple of minutes at the weekend? Hopefully, yeah. I know that we do have a couple of players in my position, um, like all the position I think we're very strong in, but especially my position. Um, I think for me, it's just uh, coming here to, to train and kind of prove what I'm what I'm like. Um, but I think it just for me, I think it's to, to up the levels um, and train these players and just. Um, Enjoy, enjoy it really, and then we'll see. Neil, thank you. Hi, Jake. Uh, can, can just ask it, uh, how it's been in Leon because obviously for you it's been a great season, but it's been quite turbulent. Uh, how, how's that been as a young player? You know, with fans protesting and whatever else. How have you dealt with all that? Yeah, so it was obviously um, the start of the season. It was it was very tough. Um, we didn't get many wins, and it was just back and forth really. And I think just since the break of Christmas. We've kind of turned things around. Um, we've got we've gotten wins, and I think um, it's a more positive atmosphere around the around the club now. Um, so I think for now it's just about looking looking up the table and getting far up as we can. Um, and obviously we have the cup as well, so it'd be good to win that. Uh, I know you're in between, but like, how much of a shift was that from academy football, where you know the results isn't the be all and end all to good development, and then going into a situation like that where the fans are are fairly uh, full on. Yeah, of course. I think at Leon, there's, I suppose, there's pressure as a club because the the fans can be on you. But I think they have the right to because because of the size of the club it is. Um, but I think that for a young player, that's that's what you have to do. You have to go in um, and try to win games. It's not about developing anymore. It's about the the winning game. And uh, especially for Leon, they're used to winning. Um, so obviously, this season hasn't been the best. But I think we've turned around and. Um, since Christmas has been a lot more positive. I'm taking you for the last one. Can you put a, a finger on what, why the change in form? Obviously, you've gone around the cup as well. Is there any kind of reason that something's changed? Or just um, I think maybe just because it's, it's a lot more steady in the squad. There, there was a lot of change, I suppose, when I first came. Um, just in around the club, players a lot. I think since the club, we've settled more. Um, it's a lot more simple in terms of tactics and the way we want to play. And of course, is I think is a good. Uh, Good vibe around the changing room, so I think we'll put them all together, and um, no, we've been good since the break. Dan, thank you. Um, Jake, am I right in saying it was only 21 your first Ireland caps? Yeah. Under age. Yeah. So I like, see you're in, in there with like sort of Nathan Collins and Jason Knight, like, Adam Eden, and all your sort of age group. Um, but when you were like 15, 16, where was that out of sight for you? You know, did you feel this was attainable? Uh, I think I was I was a late developer um, in size. I wasn't physically developed enough. I don't think to compete with these players. Um, it was only 16, 17 uh, things that had come for me in terms of physicality. Um, and then obviously when I was at Cork City, uh, putting it together with physicality and then developing um, before going off to England. Would you have played against Adam either at all underage? Yeah, yeah. No, I would have grown. I would have grown up with Adam. We would have played uh, school boys together. Um, so yeah, I know him. I know him a good while since I'm 10, 11. Yeah, and when did you start to find it? When did you start to believe you could get to this stage? You know, is there, you know, did you realise this suddenly was possible? Uh, I think ever since I was young, I always believed I'd play for Ireland. Um, it's just more so about patience and taking taking the opportunity when it came. Um, everyone develops at different different stages, and and for me, it was a, a later stage than other players. Um, but no, I always believed in myself. Tony. How are you doing, Jay? How are you going on? Good, thanks. Um, how important was Paddy McCarthy, do you think, in this call? John O'Shea appointed him immediately, and he'd obviously know you from 
Palace yeah, no, I know Paddy um, a good while. He's he's been my coach for the Academy of Palace, and I think we know each other well. Um, he knows what he gets out of me, and I know what I get out of him. Um, so it's good to have Paddy around as well, just to, to lean on, um, ask for advice, and he's obviously a really good coach now, uh, first team in Palace. When you were growing up, though, what, in particular in the second half position, what, what players did you look up to in an Irish context in particular? Uh, obviously John, yeah, um, John would have been the centre half I would have looked up when I was younger in, in terms of playing. Um, so obviously it's it's amazing now that he's the manager, um, from watching him to, to playing under him. And tell me, life in France, I mean, how's your French come on, are you enjoying the, the cuisine? Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a lovely city, um, I think there's, there's no better place in France to live. In terms of learning the language, it's, it's slowly coming on, I can understand a lot, but um, it's obviously a lot more difficult to, to speak it, but I think in time it will come, yeah. Can you understand the dubs? The dubs, uh, maybe a bit, a bit harder, yeah, the dubs, yeah. <laughs> Best of luck to you. Thank you. Ashley? Hi, Ashley from Off The Ball. Can you tell us a little bit about your early sporting ambitions? I know um, at one point there was a lot of talk about you maybe going on to represent Ireland in boxing. Yeah, no, I've grown up playing a lot of sports, um, but I think for me football has always been the one that I've, I've enjoyed the most. Um, it's always been my ambition to, to play for Ireland and to, to play at the highest level. Um, so yeah, when I was growing up, it was always my number one sport, but obviously the other sports I enjoyed as well. And do you think that helps when you grow up playing multiple different sports? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think just life experiences, um, learn different aspects of different sports. Um, I just think you can take things away from all of them. Um, and for me, I think it's, it's made me the player who I am. Um, to learn these experiences on the way. And what do you think the feeling is at the moment since John Shea has been announced as the, the interim manager? What's the mood like amongst the group? No, very positive. Um, we've had meetings and I think it's all been positive looking looking towards the game at the weekend and winning it. We're not just there to, to play because it's against Belgium. We're, we're looking to win and, and kick on. Ed? Jake, how are you doing? I think I'm right to say that uh, Leon's first league win didn't come to November and it was yourself who yeah. got the, the winning goal yeah. uh, away away match. Um, how much did that do for you in terms of just settling me into the squad and um, I suppose giving you recognition amongst the fans and just you know in terms of your your own decision to go there and how much you justified? Yeah, no, it was, it was a big game. Um, I think it was important for me to to win the crowd over, to win the fans over for this game. Um, maybe it was a, tor a turning point in the season. But it was important to get our first win um, out of the way. Uh, it was a winner win in Wren. But um, yeah, no, as I said, I think it's more so since the, the break of Christmas that things turn around for us. And in terms of just your lifestyle in France and you learning the language, um, I would suggest that you, you're happy there and it, you, you sort of see your short term, medium term future staying in, in, in that league very competitively. Yeah, of course. I mean, I think Lyon's a a very historical club, it's a big club in France, um, the fans are amazing um, and just in terms of facilities, players, there, there's no, no better place to learn from, um, training the top players in the world and I think for me that's it's, it's better to, to be there and develop. Just, just one quick one, in terms of who you've played against this season, who's been your toughest opponent in the league especially? Um, it's a lot of different types of players I suppose that I've come up against. Uh, you've obviously have Aubameyang at Marseille, Jonathan David at Lille, they're all different types of players so I think it's it's good to learn against these players um, and different types of players to defend against. Um, but in terms of the, the best, it's hard to say, I think they're all they're all very different but it's good to, to learn and play against these players. Paul? Paul? Not yet, no. Okay, just what are you learning from club mates like Dave Van Lovren? lads in that position that you're playing with? Yeah, no, I think first and foremost he's, he's a good person, um, a good person to talk to, but on the pitch he's he's done it all, he's a Champions League winner, um, so you can just take bits away from his game in training, um, and not even just him, but there's other big players that have went on a win and won uh, big trophies, and just learning from them, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch, how they conduct themselves, and um, you know, it's good, good to play with these players. Sport. Um, you mentioned John coming in. Uh, is, is it quite surreal being a 
Oh, he's, he's managing you, is that surprised you Yeah, no, definitely. I'm obviously going from watching TV, watching him play for Ireland, and then to play under him is, is great. Um, but it's not the first time for me. He's He's been a big part of my 21s as well. Uh, he would have done a lot with the 21s in terms of giving me advice and coaching as well. So uh, it's not nothing new to me because I, I know John from, from this experience. Um, but yeah. And what could you bring at this level, do you think? Um, just his experience, his coaching. I think he he can bring a lot to it. Um, he's he's very good to the lads in terms of he, he speaks very well and conducts himself around around the place very well. Um, and as I said, his experience playing in the game, he knows what it's like as players to to play at this level. Um, and his advice and as I said, the coaching is is very good. Finally, John, I think I think you're playing back four. Is it uh, Leon? Yeah, for now, yeah. You could be playing. Back five or back three. What different do you find? Have you had much experience of uh, back five or three? Yeah, no, we started off as a back five, I think, and now, and now we're at the moment we're playing the back four. Uh, it's, it's important to, to know how to play in the different systems, I think, because growing up, um, going through the years, you can you, you'll be put in any position. Um, so I think it's very important to, to know your roles in all these uh, formations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.